Who's on first? Well, then who's on second? Who's on second? Then who's on third? Who's on third? <laughs> All right, this is awkward occurrence or awkward entertainment. So real quick, um, I found an easier way to make Mandela videos, and that easier way is to just go down recent uploads of Mandela effect and talk about those videos. Videos. So these two videos I just uploaded, um, I didn't have enough time to fuse them together. But they really have nothing to do with Mandela Effect, but may have something. But nothing really. And this is about Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla claimed to receive special insight from aliens on how to make spaceships. Or how to make aircrafts. So just watch that video. You will see from um, History Channel. They dive into what Nikola Tesla believed, and I get my commentary cause, because I don't believe there's life on Mars at all. Nikola Tesla believed there was life on Mars. I don't believe it. And let's continue. Uh, sad effect of the nonsense. I said, I don't know. Dis okay, disappearing Bible quotes. There are the new. The new English, the new English version of the Bible, there's like three different versions. The NIV, I don't know even how to pronounce it. I don't read the NIV. There's three versions of that. There's a bunch of other versions of the Bible that people may have. But there's no disappearing um, passages or quotes in the Bible. People are just trying to reach for nonsense to validate their delusions. Really, let's continue. Let's go up. Um, Mr. Joe Osteen, his Lakewood church, put a strike against my last video. They claimed they had music in it and didn't have no music in it. I didn't challenge it because it only takes two minutes to make a video about Joe Osteen. So Joe Osteen is spelled O-S-T-E-E-N. A lot of other people spell it O-S-T-E-E-N. O L S T E E N. When you go to Google search, you will see a bunch of people misspell his name because it sounds like he says, or people are saying Osteen. So when people on TV say his name, it sounds like O L S T E E N, but it's not that way. Um, others that live in the area in Houston ha have always seen O S T E E N on the side of the building or on his marquee. Moving on. Again, um, delusional people who are, I guess these people are somewhat psychotic. Before they came to Mandela Effect, they was already psychotic, psychotic delusional. Uh, had some type of mental problems, probably had some type of drug problem. Probably were already in esoteric new age, um, talking to spirit guides. So you will you will see a lot of people who talk to spirit guides, um, grasping on to Mandela effect as is if this is real, Ugh. as if it's real. I'm, I'm talking too fast. I'm trying to do this video fast. Uh, Forrest Gump saying is um, there's n there's no truth to that. I don't even I didn't read this video. I didn't look at this video. I don't even know what he means by Forrest Gump saying is really, really. That's a five second video is all you get is what well, I didn't I didn't look at it. So what is it? Like all he says is when we ask these people for proof, we want to know where's the machine, where's the technology that's causing this so called Mandela effect that you believe. They have no answers. One fake Christian, one lost Christian told me CERN. He told me CERN as if I didn't know what CERN already does. CERN is not uh, twisting reality. Um, there's no such thing as alternative realities. God created one earth, one heaven, in earth. One earth in heaven God created. God split the waters, combined those waters when he told the earth to rise up from those waters 
So go back to Genesis 1 and you will see how God created this earth. It doesn't say God created um, 20 earths in heaven by dividing the water. Created 20 alternative um, human realities. It says nothing like that. Yet these people believe in that. God says nothing about alternative realities. Um, there being other earths. There being far, far away planets. God says nothing about creating aliens. Although fallen angels call themselves aliens, which they are demons. Let's continue. Um, there is no five interesting Mandela facts. The only Mandela fact is people believe in a lie. Um, everybody knows Star Wars. Let's continue. It's not a Mandela effect. Let's continue. Let's get to the main reason I'm doing this video. This is a funny one. Hold on. Where that girl at? Where that girl at? Hold on. So, it's a very beautiful girl or woman. She's about, she looks about 24, 26. Where is she at? Now, she believes in Mandela. I don't believe in Mandela. But I was flirting with her during her broadcast, and I made her laugh. Even though she's not interested, she always says she's not interested. I was um, I was joking with her under a different screen name. I was joking with her, and I was being flirtatious by talking about Mandela effect and talking about love. So it was something about. It was something about me and her were together, but I woke up in the Mandela effect and I was no longer with her. So we got to get back together to get back to our universe. So it was just me being flirtatious. I think one of the guys, one of the guys on her panel, he, he looks to be bisexual. One of the guys on her panel got upset at that and left me a comment on my other channel where I uploaded the video. Left me a comment. I think he's just jealous because I don't think he's ever made her laugh. Like he seen he looks bisexual and lost and lost in the face. Like you can look in somebody's eyes and at their face and you can tell if they're lost, confused or something, or on drugs and he just looked lost, confused, and bisexual. So I think he was just being a hater coming on my other channel trying to talk junk. Like, come on. Let me continue. Let me continue. Let me find a video. There we go. So, maybe it's Mandela. If you go check out that chat, you will see um, my other profile in there flirting with her. And you will see her laughing her butt off at my jokes. Like, really? Come on. Come on. Don't be mad. Don't be mad, dude, because you can't make her laugh. Whatever. <clears throat> Let's continue. Now, there's a picture a woman lied about waking up and her daughter looked different with a different mole on her face. Let me let me find it. Let me find it. It's going to be real quick. Let me see. If I ain't passed it yet, y'all. If I ain't passed it yet. Right here. She is not my daughter, Mandela Effect. Let's click it. Where the picture go? Either way, let's go back. This picture clearly looks photoshopped to me. I don't know why she would use a fake picture, but it looks photoshopped to me. Like that picture just looks photoshopped. When you go look at the head and the thing on the baby's head, it doesn't look right. It doesn't line up with the picture, it seems. I may be looking at it wrong, but it doesn't look right. Now, people want people so cold heartily, or heartily want Mandela Effect to be real, they will lie about events in their life. Like you're living a lie. So she says, My daughter has changed behavior, but I thought she was still my daughter, just a meaner version. 
Then the other night I was looking at some pictures and noticed the strangest thing. You shouldn't have a daughter. You shouldn't have a daughter. She has one mole on her right side of her face. But since 2019, it changes from left to right, left to right. What is CERN doing? CERN does not have the ability ability to change time. Again, God did not create the world to be that way. Like I said at the beginning of my video, God does not operate that way. God has made it so time travel does not exist. Alternative universes does not exist. Okay, this is very strange. I've heard people say that. I heard people say that's not my husband and just claims but never put credence to it but behind it. Whatever the heck she's talking about. Well, guess what? Let me know if you have had similar experiences. This will make the third Mandela effect that has happened to me over the past few years. No, I believe you are this psychotic. You are psychotic. And I hope you don't hurt your daughter. I don't know how old your daughter is. I don't know if you actually have a daughter. But that's her daughter old, older. No, no, no. No features have changed. No, no. You still look the same, but your daughter look different? No. So I really hope you seek um, professional help for your daughter's sake. And this is ridiculous. I don't know if you're on drugs. I don't know if you played with tarot cards and your mind is messed up. I don't know if you are into new age meditation and you invited spirits into your mind and they're screwing with your mind. There's a bunch of that's a bunch of testimony on YouTube. People upload a bunch of testimony messing with new age, these spirits messing with their mind and their health, making them crazy. Let's continue. So what comments does she have? Now the picture is fake. I don't know if she got it, but that picture don't look right. Picture don't look right. Why is she pointing at a mole that's supposed to be on her face? I thought you were talking about the baby face. So if you're talking about your daughter's face, why are you talking about your face? It has nothing to do with your face, lady. So let's continue. And that looks like that's pointing at her face. That's her face. That's not her daughter's face. Let's continue. She got that gauge in her ear. So that gauge in her ear, a lot of people who are into drugs and hardcore rock and roll, they will get that gauge in their ear. I've seen a few Satanists with gauges in their ear. But let's continue. Yeah, reverse image. Not Yeah, I can flip an image and make it seem opposite. I like that one. Yeah, these days it's too easy to create a fake image. Even video like the guy who has a magical portal, a magical portal in his bedroom. At least people aren't falling for this. At least too many people aren't falling for this. At least people aren't falling for it once again. <laughs> said do yeah when they go black even the mole won't come back sorry to hear this captain kirk is has lost his mind captain kirk goes around talking about bill gates he says he's a christian but he also states he doesn't need to read the word of god to know god dude before i get um into god like i didn't know god you get what i'm saying like you can't say you know God and not read the Word of God and say you don't have to read the Word of God. Like, there's still a lot of the Bible I have to read I don't know. But this guy is a, a little cuckoo. Yet, a lot of these people I do call psychotic freaks because they have, they have attacked me with curse words. Like, like I'm trying to um, help you delusional people realize there's something wrong. And you attack me with curse words? Like, that's psychotic. So I call these, some of these hardcore Mandela freaks, I call them psychotic. Because they are psychotic. Like, just people try to help you guys realize what's going on. And you attack us. That's psychotic. You, you guys are psychotic. So, I do not make friends with psychotic people. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm still into insults and name calling because you guys started the insults and name calling. Like when we question you and we tell you the truth, oh here come the name calling. Oh my gosh. That's so psychotic. He's not a true servant of God. Let's go. You see, Captain Kurt, let's go to where he said he doesn't read the Bible. Now, this is on another person who does Mandela Effect. They don't do Mandela Effect. They did a Mandela Effect debunking video. He came over there talking about Bill Gates. Then I questioned him about God, and he said, I don't read the Bible. I'm like, what? Like how are you a Christian but you don't read the Bible? Like people are too lazy; they don't want to sit down and study the Bible. Uh, there's a bunch of good Bible studies on YouTube. I I attend two different Bible study groups on YouTube. Two people I trust. Two people that I use discernment and have come to trust. And I have a probably two churches I watch on YouTube on full services. So I, I don't I don't get what he's talking about. Like I've learned more this year by reading the Bible than I learned last year. Like I'm wiser this year than from last year because I'm reading, I'm studying. Here we go. Faith is strong. Thirst for truth. This is his debunked video. Let me see if any Mandela people are online. No, no. They go to um, formation of the solar. This right here, formation of the solar system, that is all falsehoods and theories. Like, if when you look at this, this is a fictional video. That's all theories. Big Bang. Big Bang is still a theory, y'all. They, they call it a theory, which is a falsehood. All right, no, no Mandela people are online. Now, let's go to Captain Kirk, who thinks space is real for some odd reason. To be a Christian, God says nothing about space in faraway places. God says nothing about aliens. God says God says nothing about Mars being a planet, a planet of physical mass. This is the foolishness. You have to read the Bible to understand. Because you are not Christian if you think you can um, go on a spaceship and travel one light year or two light years. No, no. You go up in the spaceship, some, some way, somehow, because you guys, we guys, us, we'll never be able to get in the spaceship. They're not going to let citizens go up in a spaceship because we will see the truth for real. I like We already see the truth when we look outside as Christians, but come on. They're not letting regular citizens um, up into space. They, they just not. Elon Musk is not going to build... Um, citizen spaceships where you can pay to go up in space and come back down. Now, you're not going to get no draw rides to space and come back down. That's not happening. That's not happening, buddy. Let's go to Captain Kirk. There go his craziness before um, I told him about himself. Um, he calls Thirst for Truth Satan. Let's keep going. I tell him Mandela Effect isn't real. And I can I can care less if he wants to stay a fool of the devil. If he doesn't want to help himself out of his delusion, there's nothing more I can say to you. You have decided to stick with the devil and stick what the devil has told you. So there's nothing more I really can say to you. Let's continue. What did he say about God again? He says something about God. He says something about God. Let's continue. He says, I'm afraid. No, I'm not afraid to watch your silly video. Your video is a lie. Why would I waste my time on a lie? Here goes Captain Kirk. By the way, you don't need scripture to know God. You need scripture to know God. Because if you knew God, you would know there's no such thing as alternative universes or time travel. You would know that by reading the word of God. Let's continue. Did I even say anything about scripture? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. When you mention God and Satan, you're talking about scripture. You're talking about the word of God. Captain Kirk, you are Satan. He's talking to the guy of the video. He's talking to the host of this video. You are Satan and lack love of God. You cannot see or hear God. 
Enjoy Satan, blah, blah, blah. God and Lord, when you're talking about God, you're talking about Scripture because God is Scripture. God is the Word, and the Word was made flesh. Let's continue. Let's continue. So, yes, you, you said something about Scripture. That's all Scripture. Silly, silly, silly. Psychotic little man. That's Scripture. Um, Let me find my place. By the way, you don't need to you don't need scripture to know God. And did I even say yes you did say something about scripture? You can read the Bible all day long but have no true love for that's so silly. Know his word. To read the word of God is to have wisdom and to have love for God. Okay? And to know his word too. Your hate shine. There's no hate, buddy. There's no hate, buddy. I'm, I'm trying to get through to you. So, some of these people, I will be more, let's say my language will be a little more vicious. A little more vicious, because some people don't hear you unless you kind of talking mean to them. And I learned that from my grandmother. Like, she was a real lady. Like, she, she, like she would give you a tongue lashing, so. And she would get through to you, and it would hurt the way she talked to you. But she was doing nothing but telling the truth. But let's continue. So your hate shines through your words. I suggest you seek the love of God. I suggest you seek um, the word of God and read the book. People are lazy. They don't want to read the book. They don't want to do studies. And they think that they can just like say a pray, er, prayer every day. Every day. Like, I understand you love God, but you don't know God. You're not reading the Bible to know God. Like you can, you can be easily deceived by not knowing God. And by not knowing God is by not reading Scripture. Let's continue. Repent and find God as you're being deceived by Satan. No, you're being deceived by Satan. <laughs> you Mandela effect psychotic freak. I'm for real. Yes, he's a psychotic freak. I'm like these people are psychotic, especially the name calling. Yeah, like somebody else, I asked a simple question. I did a video about it. I asked him. Him would be the dude who said the Bible is changing. But he's reading from, he's not even reading from the King James Version. And he's not even reading from Geneva. I don't know what version he's reading from. Different Bibles had different wording and translation. Like, Wow. Wow. You can find that video on my page. I talk about the Bible translation not changing. Where is he at? It's a slim. He's a slim white guy. Slim white guy who seems like in his face seems like he's on drugs. Like in, in people's face, you can tell if they're on drugs or if they have mental problems. You really can. You really can because they don't hide it well. Some people don't hide their problems well. And I probably have to keep going back and back in these videos to find it. <laughs> Man, that little mind right there. Either way, you can find the video on my page. I'm not going to continue to look at it. All right, I'm going to get up out of here. Um, short film, Mandela, a seven-minute film. I might watch that later just for entertainment. The Mandela Effect 2018 short film, just for entertainment. I know it's not real. Okay, let me get up out of here. This has been Awkward Occurrence for Awkward Entertainment. And I will see you in the next video.